Ida Gotti, Pat Lynch, Kathy Dougal, and Mickey Ward. friends with him after we fought because he was a great person. Obviously he's a great fighter he's getting inducted. And uh, shows the support that he has here, how, how good of a person he was and how great of a fighter he was. And uh, I just can't think of a better person I'd rather fight. Um, even though he beat me twice at the end, he was such a great guy. And uh, I got a great bond with him after we fought. He became one of my great friends and uh, I miss him to death every day. And, I think I want him every day at some point in time, but he's just, he's always with me, I know he's here, and um, with you guys coming out and supporting all of him, Toro, all the rest of the champions, I mean, this is what it's all about, is you guys being here, thanking these fighters for putting their blood and guts out there, and um, and we're here to talk about it, and uh, I'm here to talk not just for Toro, but for everyone. Uh, Congratulations to all the, all the inductees. Funny, I met Virgil before. Virgil was even chambers in the Vegas with him, training in the gym with him. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably you wanted to be here, but you never think you'll probably be here, right? And here he is, and he did it. Congratulations, Virgil. But, um, I want to thank everyone for coming out. It's a little daddy, it's a little girl here, and that, that means more than anything right here. Go away right here, and I, she'll have this memory for life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my daddy. Oh. Oh. That's all my good tears in my eyes, man. Man. I just want to thank every, everyone for coming. Uh, this is a tough moment for all of us, his family and friends that are sitting here. Um, I just want to tell one quick story. I know Angel Manfredi is here, um, and he fought Arturo in a great fight. And I remember the doctor had to stop the fight because Arturo had a very bad cut. You know, Arturo fans remember that fight. And it really bothered him that the, the doctor stopped the fight. So. I said to him afterwards, I said, Arturo, listen, the cut was so bad, you could see the bone. He, he, they had to stop it. He said, yeah, you could see the bone. It couldn't go any deeper. They shouldn't have stopped the fight. <laughs> <laughs> that was Arturo God. That was the best. Arturo would never give up. He'd never throw in a towel. Arturo Gotti never quit in the ring. And I can guarantee you, he never quit in life. And I, I was honored and privileged to have been his manager for his entire career, but I'm more honored and privileged to have called him my friend. Thank you. says you couldn't give a speech. <laughs> I don't know how to follow that. Um, uh, I want to thank uh, Mrs. Ida Gaddy who asked me to speak on her behalf today. Um, his family, his sister Anna, his brother Fabrizio, his daughter Sophia. Um, I, I'm humbled for the opportunity to thank all of you for this amazing 
outpouring of love and support. And this is Gabby in particular wanted me to to thank you all for, for everything you've done here. It is such a beautiful tribute to her son. Uh, as I was trying to figure out what to say today, I'm going to cut my my my, uh, my comments to, to to the absolute bone here because I don't think I could top what Pat just did. But I was agonizing over what to say. I wanted to uh, I wanted to come up with exactly the right words, and I wanted to, at the same time felt this little bit of desire to answer some of the critics because you, you know some of you were here today. Um, but I found some words almost by accident, or maybe not, depending on what you believe. Maybe Mickey's right and he's here. Uh, maybe he guided me last week, um, but I couldn't find a better way to express my sentiment than the words that I happened on last week, who were words that were uttered by a man uh, who, who never met Arturo Gaudi, but who certainly, I have a hunch, would have been a major fan if he had. Theodore Roosevelt was speaking at the Sorbonne in 1910 when he said these words, but uh, he couldn't have expressed my sentiments any better about Arturo and probably every other man that sits up here with us today. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how, how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have, done, could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails by daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. And that, ladies and gentlemen, tells us why Arturo Gatti is being inducted here today in this place where he truly belongs. He spoke about it often. He knew he'd have critics who didn't think he belonged here. He truly understood the competing arguments about why he should or should not be. But he is up in heaven today, and I hope he knows that one of his dreams has truly come through because Arturo Gatti dared greatly. And for that, we will never, ever forget him. inductees that are here with us and they will receive a certificate from the Hall of Fame much like the one 